It was a celebration of Belgian beer and food at Markt Belgian Restaurant in the Chelsea section of Manhattan. We tasted pairings made by beer sommelier Marc Strobant as diverse as seafood platters with Leffe Blonde, lobster bisque with Stella Artois, shrimp and garlic cream sauce with Hoe Garden wheat beer, a classic Belgian steak frite with Stella, chicken in beer sauce with potato souffle and Leffe Blonde, apple caramel tart with Leffe Blonde, and an exquisite Belgian chocolate mousse with Leffe Brune. Mark led us through the different processes used to make these Belgian beers and explained why they work so well with the foods he paired with them. So I have the pleasure of speaking with Mark Strobant, who is a beer sommelier. Hi, Mark. Hi there, hi there. And it's, this is wonderful. We're in a Belgian restaurant. I'm speaking with a Belgian Mark, and it's a celebration of all things Belgian tonight. And I'm having a great time. I'm so glad. I'm so happy. This is, it's the center of fun. Beer, food. It's a great evening. It's a great way to show what we can do with beer. Yeah. So. And so now, um, what I love is that you are a beer sommelier. So you know as much about beer as a wine sommelier knows about wine. Indeed, I'm a master of beer. So I learned to go, to, I had to go to school to learn how to drink beer. So. And I hear that you actually dropped out of law school to learn about beer. I did. I started law school <laughs> and uh, to fund my studies, started working in specialist beer bar. A bit like Mark's, we're here now. And um, guess where I ended up? Yeah. And some people say, I'm Beer, now, the yeah, law, beer, the law. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still on the bar, at the bar, so... Okay, exactly, yeah, so. you study very well for the bar. Absolutely. So, now, you're going to show us something to do with, with the foam here, right? Absolutely. It's a key thing. What I want to show you, the importance of serving beer correctly, and beer should be served with foam. So what we're going to do is uh, grab our spoon, taste a bit of the foam, okay. scoop a bit of foam. Now, I know we normally so we've got just the foam. It's just like, the foam. It's, it's like all these fancy chefs with their foams. We can, all we need to do is pour some beer, maybe. <laughs> mm. It tastes a bit funny. I get the bitterness of the yeah. hops right at the top. Absolutely. Very bitter. And foam is the best place to taste hops. Okay. It's a chemical reaction. It's the hop molecules attached to the carbon dioxide bubbles. And the brewer wants you to taste the hops. And that's why the beer should be served with the, with the foam. And why is this important? Hops are put in beer to make ta beer taste bitter. And bitter is better to quench your thirst. And another thing what we're doing today is hops stimulate the appetite. Yeah, absolutely. Because we all know we drink some good beers. And it's not just about, you know, that old thing about the, you know, salty food with beer. These, these beers that we've paired tonight have paired with the whole range of food from savory to sweet to uh, rich to, to fine. Yep. Uh, and and I think the message that I got is that it, you should look for the right beer for each course that you're having, no matter what restaurant or what style of food you're eating. Uh, absolutely. Don't be afraid to order beer. And I'm not, a, I love wine as much as I love beer, but sometimes you just like to have a beer. And there's so many more complex flavors in beer. And beer has a place before the meal, beginning, middle, and, and even after the meal. And there's so much you can do, so many exciting experiments. We tried beer and chocolate, we had beer and shrimps, yeah. we had beer and chicken. And we're gonna learn all about those pairings on Food Philosophy, the audio podcast, when Jennifer talks to Mark. And we're gonna learn all about the intricacies of some of those pairings. So Mark, thank you so much for joining us. You're very well, thank you.